Hey, welcome back to MacBreak Studio. Mark and Steve here talking about Final Cut Pro, and Steve's got some interesting tips going on today with auditions, right? Yes. Um, you know how actors have to go on auditions and yes. they have to be chosen by the director or producer? Well, Final Cut has an audition feature, and I actually use it for auditioning my talent. For auditioning your actors. For auditioning, they've, they've already been hired, as it were, uh -huh. but now I, I use auditions to kind of go through and figure out what performance is best. Oh, okay, as an easy way of checking performances. That's well, right. let's easy. see how you do it. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to scene four, and by the way, this is from a, a commercial I shot recently and uh, uh, for uh, Otherworld Computing. And, and we'll, we'll put the link below if you want to check out yeah. the commercial. So what I want to do is is look at some takes. I already have an addition. I'm going to go ahead and delete that there. But I have some takes here of of Haley. She's the girl, and she's reacting to the to the to the boy who's who's pretty much videotaped his downhill slalom course with his GoPros. And I have different reaction shots of her reacting to to his to watching the to video. watching the video. Right. So I'm just going to skim through these, and I, I like this one because he's kind of, if you look at it, he's kind of got this like little shy, you know. Well, he line. takes a look at her. He takes uh -huh. a look at her, and she's she's like, I, I like that a lot. I'll go into 407, and I'll look. Here's yet another take. And then she gives him this look, because she looks at him and approvingly, and she nods. Uh -huh. And then I have this other one here where it's like, it's kind of subtle. She just kind of looks up at him and then looks back down. Uh, you know, a lot can be communi nice. communica communicated in look. I like all of them. Okay. Okay. Um, and I'm not sure which one I use. The point is there's three different performances and I want to encapsulate them into a single audition. Great. That's why I'm calling this auditioning actors. Okay. Right? So what I'm gonna do is select these three clips. I'm gonna just that, right? I'm gonna control click on the clips and choose create audition. A lot of people don't know that you can create an audition right in the browser. browser. Yeah, it's often they do it in the timeline by dragging a clip on top of another one. Right. This is a really cool trick. So I'm gonna go ahead and create the audition and immediately I have an audition clip as signified by the little, um, whatever, spotlight icon and you can see it up here. Mm -hmm. So this is called the pick. That's the one that it shows as the main, it, the main take that's being displayed in the And somehow, I, I don't know what it, uses to decide which one is the main one, but it's easy enough to switch to something. It is. In fact, you could just click on the little icon and you could just use your arrow switch key to and something else. To switch okay. to something else. You know, so keep, be careful when you do that because the audition now I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not in my keyword collection. I'm at the level of the event. I, I, see. I prefer doing the switching in the timeline, but yes. just kind of show you that you jump back to the event when you do that. So, so anyway, um, I have this this clip here, and you're right. I don't know what what's criteria is using for a pick, but that's that's the pick. Mm -hmm. And one thing that that I discovered is that you can do a a color grade on an audition clip where you can't do it on a regular clip. So if you select a clip and hit Command Six, it says nothing to adjust. Okay. So with a regular clip, you cannot go to the color board. No. The only way you can color grade a regular clip is you have to go into the clip by opening it in its own timeline, timeline. which you cover in your color correction tutorial. Right. You can open it in timeline or drop it into a project. Right. I drop it into a timeline, but you can't color correct it from the browser. Correct. But you can with an audition. Yes, you can. If you select the audition <laughs> clip, look, it'll have all the controls for color correcting. So you can color correct individual clips in an audition. Yes. But you can't color them when they're just in the browser yeah, by themselves. I, I, that's pretty you, funny. It is funny. I hear the Apple engineers go, that's not a feature. It shouldn't be in there. I don't know what happened. <laughs> so you can color correct them each one individually. Or... You could. But, okay. yeah, so, but well, these are all shot the same, so you'd probably want to color correct them the same. Yeah, well, I'm going to do what I call, you know, and typically the film they call the one light correction where you've got contrast and you've got the color balance mm -hmm. adjusted. This looks a little washed out. The color balance isn't exactly right. I've saved a preset for it and, uh, down here in the preset. I'll go down here and choose, uh, let's see. Scene four, Haley's house. Ah, okay. Boom. It's been, there it is. Nice, there so it is. So I okay. get my little correction. Uh -huh. So what I want to do is I want to put this into the timeline, edit in the timeline. So you just wanted to color correct one just, of them. Just one for now. Okay. Okay. Um, so here's the thing. I, I When I'm cutting a commercial, it's always about a fixed length. Like this thing is like roughly 35 seconds. And I, and I have a slug here because I need that reaction shot to be a certain time. Yes. So in this case, I have a, a gap clip. So I'll go ahead and move the playhead to where I want this clip to go, and the, the audition clip is selected, I can just press Q. And now it puts the con audition clip right As a right connected clip over the gap clip. Right, and what's nice about this is then I can, I can play this out, see how this first performance works. Okay, that's all right. Um, the other thing you do is if you just hit Control Option and the arrow, a right, right arrow, 
you can use or left arrow. Notice like I'm swapping out the different audition takes. Okay, so without opening a little uh, audition window by clicking on the badge, you're just swapping takes very quickly. Control, option, right, left arrow. I find this much faster. And uh, I, I just do. Now, notice some of the takes very are very long. Okay, so this is one of the reasons why I connected it. So it wouldn't affect the other clips downstream. Otherwise, I'm pushing them down. Right, and so now when I play this, uh, I, I can see... I, I, I kind of like that little subtle look she gives. Yeah, and that'll know? work. That I noticed that she got the look done before we before the play had moved to that right. last clip. Now, one of the reasons why I like putting connecting, a lot of people don't realize that you could take these connected clips and move them down below the primary storyline. So wherever you see the so gap... Now you don't have to guess. You don't have to guess. So like I know, let's say I might want her her reaction a little bit later. I could just pick this clip up and move it this way. And it's like I'm creating this window of that content. Directly. You're basically slipping the clip. I'm slipping the clip. But you still get to see the whole thing and take advantage of the different auditions in there without affecting the timing of your primary storyline. That's great. That's right. By the way, you probably held the shift key down when you first dragged that down below yeah. to keep it from moving left yeah, to right. Okay. I did that. So, so this is, I find this to be really handy when you have audition clips and you don't want them to affect the timing. Yes. You can just move them below the gap, cl gap clip and then shift them left to right. And now you can really see the, just the content that's going to show. Right. Now, um, because that color, that color grade that I applied in the browser, yes. it only applies it to one of the clips in the container. I wish it applied it to the container so whatever, whatever you swapped out would be corrected. Would be corrected. That, would, no, that would be cool. Uh -huh. But since... That isn't the case. I have to go back to the preset, and I'll go ahead and add my little uh, my color grade there. Okay. So there it is. All right, fabulous. So there you go. So those are a couple of great tips. One is using auditions directly in the browser, right. which is awesome. Which most people probably I don't know how much you guys know about that. Color correcting clips in the browser by putting them on audition, and then using auditions as connected clips below the timeline. I know there's so there's a couple like, of people going. I know, a cornucopia of Final Cut Pro yeah. tips. <laughs> those, those are really great. Um, so ho hope you guys found that useful. I sure did. I'm definitely going to use some of these tricks in here. So uh, you know the normal thing here. Uh, check us out on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, or don't do any of that social media stuff. Just go to rippletraining.com because it's all right there. Yeah. Check us out there, training, tutorials, plugins. Um, Thank you for watching Mac Break Studio. We really appreciate your support. It lets us do this. This is what we love to do. And uh, hopefully we'll see you again next week here on Mac Break Studio.